Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event of the evening is a heavyweight Grand Prix tournament qualifier with the winner earning a shot at $500,000 coming up in March. It's Nikola Filipovich and Nabil Kahab. Heavyweight action. On the line, a spot in the $500,000 Grand Prix Tournament. Nabil Kaha! And at only 22 years old, he's over 300 pounds. Nice. Those combinations he likes. Good forward pressure from Kavab. Good work rate for the Moroccan. Just slamming body punches, uppercuts. There's a knee, he can jump too! Don't judge a book by its cover, that's for sure. Nikola Filipovich. He uses great feints before he attacks. Nice angle with that to get off. Look at that angle turn. Ooh, good knee by Filipovich. Two big heavyweights. Here we go. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. A two-time world and European champion, undefeated in two prior glory appearances. As a professional, 11 wins with two losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.92 meters, and he weighed in at 250.4 pounds, 113.6 kilos. He fights tonight out of Belgrade, Serbia, and is currently ranked number 10 in the heavyweight division. Here is Nikola Birov Filipovic. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. Coming off an impressive debut with a unanimous decision over Uku Yuriandale at Glory 83. As a professional, 26 wins, four losses, one draw, and four career knockouts. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 338 and one half pounds, 153.5 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco, he's ranked number eight in the Glory Heavyweight Division. Here is Nabil the Tank Kaha. And the referee for this contest, Tomislav Novosel. Fighters, gentlemen, you know the rules. Please follow my command, okay? Touch a glass if you want, step back in your corner. Fellas, I don't think we should blink for this one. It could Go come this. to an end real quick. Five, five. Two big men with a lot of power and a lot on the line. The winner officially booked his place in the upcoming Glory Grand Prix Heavyweight Tournament. We already see Kashab keeping the pressure going forward. We got Filipovic already on the back leg. That's what he likes to do, and that's what he's best at. A good low kick there from Phil Povich, using the calf kicks. This is what Filipovich needs. Just move and don't let him catch him in one corner. Move and counter him. Pun punish him any time he tries to come in and throw anything at you. The speed versus the power in this one. Oh, and really good shot from Kakar. Well, I think the calf kick is a good option for Filipovich. He opens up with his hands, but he wants to keep it technical. But Kahab's strategy is to lay on you, get him inside. It's not just the matter if Filipovich can take this pressure. Will he break or will he overcome it? If he's overcome it, he's in good spot. But right now, he doesn't look like he likes it. Yeah, I like these combinations from Kahab. Hitting the body, uppercuts. No holding. For such a big man. Still got that fast hands and... He got that shot through and back to Lepovichov. Yeah, he spent about four weeks preparing in Thailand. He's a true big man. Just go for it. Right. Nothing else. Not the good body language from Filipovic. I just think fighting Kahab is exhausting. 
because it's hard to damage him, like you said. I mean, as much as you hit the body, it doesn't affect him. Yeah, it's just the big cushion. He just looks so perfect. Like he, side, no more. Like he yeah. has a perfect body armor. Right. He's like yeah. fighting with a bulletproof vest on him. Yes, yeah, so even trying to knee, that would be tough because he's pressuring you, throwing these big punches. Yeah, you will need to counter him when he comes in. And Filipovic doesn't like it. You see some redness and swelling on the face of Filipovic now. Some of that damage inflicted from Pahab. He continues to tee off. Yeah, good combinations. He's good at Go. mixing the uppercut, the body Nicola, shots. Go holding. Oh. You know, Coach Saiz always wanting more low kicks from him. It looks like the pressure is breaking Filipovic. His body language and face, from what I can say, is really not liking it. Thank you, right, Antonio. Ooh. He's an exchange, yeah. He's finding him with the right hand pretty clean. Kahab very vocal. He wanted in this tournament he sure all year. Did. He just kept calling for it. Absolutely. Big opportunity and another solid strike from Kahab. Stop. Hey. Yeah, Filipovic leaning on Kahab now. Ooh, nice angle there. That's what he's got to do more of, cutting angle. Yeah. Stop. Just not stay right in front of him. And he needs to move and punish him and every time he comes inside. Yep. This is set from Antonio Plazabot. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's the big man known as the tank. Big man who loves to throw big strikes. Heavyweight. All goes low kicks and props to him working with kids. With boxing from the Jewish He's, a, he's a, a big, nice guy outside of the ring. Dangerous on the inside. We have Nikola Filopovic. I know Antonio saying it better than us with the accent. The <laughs> signature strike, the middle kick. He likes his outdoor camping, but like we said, it's about cutting angles in this next one. I think it's all for hard. He was the one pressuring, throwing more shots, working the body, working everything. And Filipovic looked like he didn't like the way the fight is going. And you can see like a little bit on his face, he's not in, in a good situation. And you can see now Kahab continuing with his game plan, just going forward. And the judges agree with you, Antonio. All five getting that first round to Nabil Kahab. Milokovic is doing better now at cutting that angle, and as he angles, he throws his right hand in his calf kick. Yeah, he needs to, to, to uh, just keep on throwing those cow kicks. They do the damage, but it's not enough yet. Kahab is just walking through it. 38 punches. Landing by Kahab now. Letting those Time. fists fly. Red corner, open your money. Bow down. Filipovic lost his mouthpiece again. Filipovic needs to start countering him. He really not don't look good and really don't like those pressure from the Kahab. That's a little wobbly there too, Antonio. Oh, good body shot by Kahab. I think Filipovic needs to move around more. I mean, use his jab and circle. He can't sit here like this against Kahab. Yeah, Kahab teeing off. The pressure is starting to, to, to break Filipovic. Yeah, there he's trying to move to the right, but Kahab's cutting that angle now. Every serious Kahab throws, you can see Filipovic goes a little bit down, like, like a sinking ship. Oh, ooh. And now, Kabob striking, followed by the kicks. With a nice cut down low kick. Those are the Ernesto Hu style low kicks. Kabob is also slowing down a bit, but Filippo is just nowhere to find. He's, he's like he's has this fight. He needs to start countering and punish him every time coming in. If he doesn't do that, it's going to be just one sided Kabob night. 
I think Kahab is just very durable too, right? Ooh, Kahab. No, no. But Kahab too excited there. Jumping oh. on that rope. It was a good left hook. I don't know why it wasn't counted. I when agree. It clean. That nice combination to the guard from Kahab. Kahab is getting closer to that target. Oh, there he goes. Big cut. Filipovic looks like he is spent and in trouble. Yeah. Filipovic doesn't have much left. Yeah. He's hanging from Kahab in the ropes. Yes, 30 seconds to go in this second round. If Kahab put the gear up, he can finish this fight right away, but I think he will wait for the third round. Doesn't want to risk it. That looks, that looks like that to me. Maybe a smart strategy as time winding down in another round dominated by Nabil Kahab. Come on, guys. Right now, this is Kahab. The thing done right. And the table is set for the Glory Heavyweight Grand Prix to open the 2024 Glory season. Six men have qualified, plus today, as we have said, we are announced to, we are excited to announce the wild card qualifiers to round out this eight man tournament. Current glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven is joined by the number one ranked Antonio Plazabot, who is in the house with us tonight. How excited are you for this opportunity, my man? This is great. This is great. This is what kickboxing is about. Violence top violence all night long three <laughs> fights going all out no tactics no nothing just pure power very old school k1 style which i think is brilliant by glory to bring this tournament style back it's a legend legendary nights every night of that is just legendary you know you will see some great fights it's guaranteed we have Antonio drooling here, rubbing his knuckles, and he's itchy. He's got itchy knuckles, we say. His knuckles are itchy. <laughs> no holding, just take it easy no on holding. me. You can punch <laughs> Valtellini punch. over there. Just, uh, After I, I, commentating <laughs> me and Valtellini go fight. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. it. Can, All closed it. doors. <laughs> just All me and him. Judges gave the second round to Nabil Kahab. No doubt about it, and he's trying to finish this fight early in the third. Oh, Kahab is hard on him. And every time he fucks him up, he looks a little bit to me. I think, I think this is some point to say from him. It's a sign. Yeah. Would you like Kahab in the first round? No. I don't think he's going to be careful. Be careful. Oh, wow. You want the champ right away? Yeah, while you're fresh, give me the best. Is there a strategy that you will incorporate, Antonio? You know, some guys want to get in there, go wild, try to end it as quick as possible and move on. You need, you need to end it quickly as possible because it's three fights. In between fights, you get colder. You try to stay warm, so you need to finish the quiet fight as quick, quick as possible so you don't injure yourself and get something in between. Oh, the hands of Filipovic are down now, and that could lead to trouble. Mahab is just Ooh. chopping those legs down. <laughs> I love that, Antonio, you said that Kahab. When you get that body shot, it's like hitting a pillow. I mean, that was a solid shot. It's like a perfect, go, go. Go. It's a perfect body armor. And I don't know how he does it, but he got a big body and big conditioning. Yes, Very he does. hard guard to fight because he, look at this, he just keeps coming forward. Great insight. Huh? I mean, ideally, you want to touch him on the chin because you can't put muscle or or fat on the chin, so but he does a good job. He's still durable. He's good, good head guard. Yeah, good, but, good double deck. Yeah, and he is. Uh, and Filipovic cannot find the answer for that. Filipovic looks right now like a broken man, just waiting for the fight to end. Yes, I he's can't. being dominated in the stats too, guys. Antonio but, likes fighting guys with that double deck. Yeah, does that yeah, yeah. pull the guard in your favorite techniques? Under a minute to go here in the third and final Stop. round. Nabil Kahab looking to punch Fight. his ticket into the Glory Heavyweight Grand Prix. Beautiful level change by the big man. Yeah. And he's moving and countering well. Stop. Kahab is a little bit like Rico when he comes to throwing his hands. It's not all 100%. 
but he's all time in your face and just keep coming, just keep punching you. Stop! Till you get tired. Stop! Yeah, this is impressive cardio. Punch. I mean, look at the size of him. You would never think that his cardio would be so great. No. Is his club in his right hand? He might get a knockout here. 13 to go. Bob looking to finish this fight. What a performance Stop. by the tank who rolls on. Stop. Great night by Kamad. He just threw what he needs to prove. Keep coming forward and just break the will of your opponent. Great insight from the guy who might get a shot at Kahab next. Antonio Plazabak, thank you so much. Great insight. Uh, hopefully we can do this again. If not, happy holidays and best of luck in the tournament. Thank you, everybody, and wish you all happy holidays. Happy holidays, buddy, and good training. Let's go. The decision is coming up next when we return. Let's now check out the highlights from this amazing heavyweight matchup. It was all from the Moroccan Nab Nabil Khahab, the way he came forward, great pressure like he's known for. These amazing combination, the way he changes his angles, his levels, he'll hit you with uppercuts, body shots, low kicks, overhands. Everything. He just brings everything at you. He's big, he's strong, he's durable, he comes forward. And even Antonio Plazabak gave him a lot of praise. And the cardio, Joseph, sticks out to me. Here's the third round. He's still going nuts. Yeah. I think he's going to be a great tournament fighter. I think he'll be a, a big underdog in the Grand Prix tournament. But, hey, he's a live one. If he can go Absolutely. in here and pressure some of these guys, I think he's going to do fantastic. He's still very young. He's only 22 years old and on the biggest stage doing some big things. Nabil Kahab is a problem. No doubt about it. You look at that first round, the strikes thrown per minute, 39%. He got to work quickly and shut down any offense from Filipovic. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance. So let's take a look at the judges' scorecards here. All five of our ringside judges see them out and score them out the same 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Now punching his ticket into the heavyweight Grand Prix Tournament of 2024, Nabil Kaha! I'm here with Nabil Kahab, always a fan favorite and a very good performance. How are you feeling? First of all, Alhamdulillah, I've won. I'm proud of this. I'm going to the tournament, 23 years old. Come on, man. Where is Rico? Where is Plazibot? Where are the names? Come on. They're all here watching you. They know you're a big factor now in this tournament. You have any words for these guys in this tournament? They know I can break danger. They know that, they know that. I have stamina. I go back to work directly with my coach Said. We're going to bring firework, inshallah. You really wanted this, you've been calling for it, you've got it. What would this mean for you, your country and your team being in here and doing well? I think I'm the only Moroccan there, so I have to make them proud. Morocco, stand up! Coach, you're seeing your fighter enter this tournament. He's doing a good job for such a young guy. How did you see his performance, and how do you think he'll do in this tournament? You know, he's young. There was a lot of people that was talking about his size and never judge a book by his cover, you know? And he's still young, and, um, you know, we're going to build step by step. But one thing, never, never judge people about the size. That's the most important thing. Yes? Okay, that's the thing. Cool. Remember that! All right, I'm going to give you one last moment since you're a big fan favorite. You got a lot of Moroccan fans for you tonight. Give us your last words here. It was a big night for you. Alhamdulillah. I want to thank everybody here. I want to thank Allah is the greatest. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. All right, let's hear it for your winner, Nabil Kahab.